okay so uh, now what we are going to do is uh, this is the console and I have yeah I have connected to it previously but let's uh, upload the code again and uh, now I am uploading the code and it's yeah so it's uh, downloaded so many bytes in so many seconds to the board and this is the serial console uh, for the net right and as you can see it has created a micro AP now what I am going to do is I am going to disconnect from the existing internet that I have connected to and I am going to con connect to the micro AP that has been created by the net board AP stands for access point so it creates its own access point that we will now connect to and we will configure the AWS IoT credentials so now once I have connected to that access point I am going to go to 192.168.10.1 and I am going to provision it yeah so the name is the name that we gave net in this case uh, the region is the AWS region yeah, you can find it in the URL uh, mine is US West 2 the certificate and the private key is the one that we downloaded in the previous video so yeah this is uh, the certificate and this is the private key so I'm going to put them here and say submit and now I'm going to configure the access point that it has to connect to the Wi-Fi access point so I'm going to put in the password for my SSID and say connect and if you check the serial console yeah so if you check the con serial console it says it has successfully connected to the configured network and it has now published a value to that network right so if I go to AWS IoT I should uh, yeah I should connect back uh, to the access point which actually has internet and not the network just a second okay so now I think I have disconnected from the net board and now I will connect to my regular Wi-Fi access point yeah so now if you see that if I refresh the device shadow status you will see that a few seconds ago a new value has been published now uh, yeah now I'm going to create no now I'm actually sh uh, going to show you a live video feed of my board for that I'm going to need VLC mm, yeah so you can see the board here uh, and now I'm going to press a button three times and I'm going to get uh, that value on the AWS IT dashboard so on the serial console that you can see that it has been reported so now it's safe to see the AWS IT dashboard and if I refresh yeah so the PB value has been set to 3 now PB stands for push button earlier it was 0 